Hey, this is a match once again. Welcome back to another video. It's another paid request, this time for Manuel. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos or topics, reviews, whatever the case may be, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. Now, this is for Arcane Episode 1, which I did not know what the hell this was. <laughs> I guess it was on Netflix, which I don't have Netflix, so I find other ways to watch the shit. And it's based on League of Legends. I have never played League of Legends. What I know about League of Legends is those are one of two advertisements that half of YouTube had <laughs> as sponsors, these YouTubers. It was either League of Legends or the thing to shave your balls. Play League of Legends while shaving your balls. That was like the advertisements, the two advertisements people had. It was one or the other or both. Shave your balls after playing League of Legends or before you play League of Legends. Or during playing League of Legends. Shave your balls and all that stuff. <clears throat> so other than, you know, you two sponsorship that people use. That's all I knew about it, but never played it. Well, apparently they got a show that I guess a lot of people like. It got critical praise, and I guess it won an Emmy. Now, I didn't know streaming services would be up for that, but apparently, like Netflix. But, I mean, I guess now they're doing more in tune with that, because Prey, you know, that Predator movie, that got nominated for Best Movie, Emmy, I should say, for Best Movie and Best Actress and stuff. And now this from Netflix... I guess won the best animated program. So now I guess those doors are tipped open. <coughs> now, Arcane Episode 1, it wasn't bad. You know, I made it sound like I'm going on a rant. It wasn't bad. It's nothing that I haven't seen before. But I mean, it's. has a decent opening. With some pretty competent animation. Where you have these two sisters. Vi and Powder. Vi's the older sister. Uh, Powder's the younger sister. It's this haze of red. And smoke. And rubble. As if this resistance battle had been. In the middle of fighting and lost. And here are the pieces left. Including their parents who are dead. So they see the leader of the resistance who defeats some foes, sees them, grabs them, walks away, pretty much I'll take care of you now. And there's pretty much two places. There's the rich place and there's the slums. So our characters live in the slums and it's many years later and Vi and Powder as well as these two other guys. One who's a bit of a mouthpiece, talks quite a bit, pitch locks, and then this bigger guy. Uh, the four of them go off into the rich city. They're not supposed to, but they're going in to steal some supplies. They go in to what looks like this inventor's place. They find some random stuff, and the little girl, the sister, Powder, she finds these blue crystals, look like magic crystals. One of them gets loose, explodes, they get noticed, there's a foot chase, they get out of there, they're able to get away through the sewer system. While they're on their way home, there's these mudders who our characters fight. Decent fight. I like the, the bits where... It shows a little bit more brutality than you would think. Where even the, the older sister gets punched in the face. And you see a little bit of spit and blood fly out. Or other people get... It did a lot of that during it. Almost as if Zack Snyder did the did this scene. A lot of it's like... There's a lot of that going on. Ultimately, the three take care of the mudders while the younger sister runs and someone's chasing her and she's got the loot. 
Ultimately, she tries to do something that fails, and she puts the backpack into the water. The guy looks around, gives up, and the others are mad at her. Not so much the sister, but the other two are mad at her for losing the loot. You know, the mouthpiece guy's like, I got hit for nothing. And he calls her a jeans. Because apparently each time they go out, she seems to be a jeans and something goes wrong. But the old sister's being a nice sister, sticking up for a younger sister. Uh, pretty much, it does a decent job showcasing the world. Like, they go back to their slum world, and there's a lot of little intricacies you see. A guy and it has this little creature in a crate. It looks like hookers. <laughs> like one, I guess, is a man in woman's clothing. And then there's a... I don't know what creature she is, but she looks like she's a granny. So I guess if you love her grannies. But it's also a creature with like big ears. I guess you'd be my guess you have some hooker time with her. But it's trying to do a bit of world building. Like I said, the animation isn't you know, too bad. Neither was the voice acting. I think the older sister is Haley. I think it's the one who is the voice of Gwen Stacy and in Into the Spider Verse. I think it's her. And she's not a bad actress, not at all. The other voices I don't recognize. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Sorry about that. So they try to relax, and then they get found out by the the leader, who's kind of the circuit father, the sisters. Hey, what's going on? You guys are in trouble. There's been this explosion that happened, and they're going to come looking for us. You know, giving the older sister a lecture. The little girl, this younger sister, realized she has one of those crystals left, goes to show his sister doesn't though the sister finds her she shows her it you know let's keep this a secret between us decent bit of bonnie you tell that they care for each other meanwhile the the surrogate father the leader of this resistance he's seen by these two from the rich place listen we need someone to arrest you gotta give us something otherwise we'll come back with an army no i'm not going to give anyone up and then got to the cut to these people. I didn't know who the hell they were, who I guess they're doing these experiments with, look like mutagen, you know Ninja Turtles mutagen, but I think this is like purple. They say it's feeding time, and they put a cat in with a rat, but the rat, the mouse, feeds on this mutagen, becomes a creature. You get the idea. It kills the cat. You see a streak of blood hit the, hit the glass, and they've said they found a test subject it's one of those things that as I'm watching I'm going okay it's not bad it was nothing that I haven't seen before uh, but it was competent I would say it was competent maybe just I've seen too many things you know you have the, the, the siblings you have the little tension between them and the surrogate father you got the rich versus the poor the two classes conflicting with each other the tragic backstory your lead characters you know a foot chase scene whether it's more playful in a film like Aladdin or you know here a bit more serious or do you have a fight scene that established that our lead character she's bit tougher than people think but I didn't see anything woke or anything to buy at least I didn't see it in the first episode I would say this that it was competent the voice acting was decent the the world building wasn't too shabby and especially looked at the slum world it was like 40 some minutes long the opening I thought, okay, I didn't, interesting way to open it, put this right in the midst of the action, or the aftermath of the action. I don't know, maybe if I knew more about League of Legends, I, I would care, 
maybe not. It just kind of seemed eh, typical. It just felt very familiar. I don't know what it is. There was nothing in it that I found was bad. It just seemed very familiar like I've seen this multiple times before. I mean, it just... There was nothing in it that I found really that original or creative or go, wow, I haven't seen that before. Just really nothing that original. Nothing that really made me go, whoa. It was like, eh. You know, even the foot chase, you know, it was there. It was alright. Nothing too crazy in, in choreography. It wasn't badly done. It just like, eh. That was kind of a reaction. Eh. I mean, maybe with the other episodes, I'll, I would see how it's such an Emmy Award worthy show, but... Fuck the awards, though. Who gives a shit about awards, really? Pray God nominated for a Best Movie Emmy. <laughs> Come on. It, there, I didn't find anything bad. It just nothing that was... The only way I would see another episode if it was a request. There's just nothing in it that made me go, I need to see more. I can't wait. Nah. If I never see any more, I can sleep well at night. If I do, oh well, it won't be... Oh my god, I gotta see another one. It'd be more like, yeah, okay. See what happens. Maybe it gets better. Maybe it gets more interesting. Maybe it gets more... I mean, it's only one episode. I mean, it's not like the Marvel shows where you see one episode and your soul dies. Like She-Hulk. So it's not that. It's, you know, maybe if you're more into League of Legends, you get more out of it. But yeah, the sisters... They seem like they work well together. The voice actresses seem like they, they do care for each other. Uh, the like I say the animation, like during the fight scene, choreography wasn't too bad. I understood what was going on. The girl actually took hits. It wasn't just she she had no issue and she was a uh, Barry Sue. No, she would get hit there and she would get a bit bloodied up. So it wasn't that she was Miss Perfect or anything. You know, Jane Swift, you know, the or powder, as you say. Seems like she'll be nicknamed Jane Slater. You know, she's steer, but she's not so much that I was, like, annoyed by her. It's just that she's out of her realm with this. It tries to put little pieces in. Okay, what do these magic crystals have to do with anything? They obviously got some immense power. The mutant things felt like came out of nowhere. I had never seen those tears before. If I did, I just missed them. I'm like, who the fuck are these people? And when the fuck did this Mugen thing come into place? That felt like out of the blue. That felt like, what the fuck? What's this about? I guess just to give you a teaser for next time. I said, maybe if I knew about League of Legends, maybe it would be a bit more understandable. I don't know. If you're a player of League of Legends, you can let me know. But I mean, it was nothing that got me mad or anything about it. It was fine. So, yeah, with that said, thanks for watching. Take care, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.